Tom Noonan was recognized as one of the propane industry's greatest salesmen, one of its greatest representatives. When a topic of conversation turns to Tom Noonan, words like genuine and caring are often used to describe him. He was a leader and a mentor. As Perk, President Roy Willis once shared about Noonan, he was one of the greatest propane boosters I've run across. He was a prince of a man. Some salesmen focus all of their efforts on sales, and some focus all of their efforts on customers. Propane industry leaders say Tom Noonan had a focus on both the sale and the customer. Noonan excelled in his career as a propane salesman. He also contributed to the National Propane Gas Association, the Propane Education and Research Council, and the Young Gassers Group. Noonan began his career in the propane industry working as a salesman for Protein Corporation in Louisville, Kentucky, only a few days after he graduated from the University of Kentucky in 1955. Noonan also married his wife, Billy, to start a family that year. As an earnest salesman, Noonan received many promotions in the propane industry. This required him and his family to relocate many times over the years. The Noonan family lived in Kentucky, Ohio, Indiana, Tennessee, Florida, and California. Noonan left Protein Corporation in 1965 to work as a salesman for Greens Fuel in Sarasota, Florida. Bob Myers, who was a director of petroleum at the time, says he began to notice Noonan's sales efforts at Greens Fuel. It was then that Myers decided to recruit Noonan to be a salesman for Petrolane. With time, Myers convinced Noonan to work with the sales team at Petrolane by the 1970s. Noonan formed hundreds of sales programs during his time with Petrolane to help grow the company's gallon sales through new business. His efforts to advance Petrolane's sales force paid off. Myers believes all of Noonan's sales programs were successful. As Noonan advanced his career at Petrolane, Suburban Propane's parent company, Quantum Chemical, purchased the retailer in 1989. Noonan then became Suburban Propane's vice president of sales. By the mid-1990s, Noonan teamed with the company's new CEO, Mark Alexander, to help him make big decisions for the company. When Suburban Propane considered discontinuing its affiliation with NPGA and Perk, Noonan persuaded Alexander to keep the company involved by taking him to their meetings and introducing him to their respective leaders. Noonan retired from the propane industry in 1999 to spend a little more time traveling the world with Billy. As a proponent of involvement, Noonan stayed busy in his retirement. He continued to advise people in the propane industry, and he volunteered in his Oceanside, California community until his death in 2013. Both his hometown and industry leaders say he left a large footprint in both communities. Wow, my dad's in great company. This is quite a group and quite an honor. It's hard to see that. <laughs> okay, I'm here. I'm Katie Noonan. I'm Tom Noonan's favorite oldest daughter. Uh, also accepting this award for my dad are his favorite youngest daughter, Sally, his favorite oldest son, Tom, his favorite youngest son, Patrick, his favorite son-in-law, Gary, and of course, his loving wife of 57 years, my mom, our mom, Billy Noonan. <laughs> We've traveled from California to accept this honor, and three of his sisters, Patty, Kaki, Peggy, his niece, Angela, his brother, Dickie, his wife, Ann, have traveled from Kentucky to accept this as well. We are proud and grateful to be here to accept this award for our dad. This event combines two things very important to our dad, his work and his family. We were a company family, moving with our dad all over the country as he excelled in this industry. 
Throughout Dad's life, he let all of us know how important his work was, and he often involved us in it. We boldly wore leftover t-shirts displaying LPG tankers. They were bucking like bucking broncos on these t-shirts because he was planning a, a truck rodeo one time. Uh, we played with safari hats from jungle-themed sales campaigns. And we were the first kids on our block to ride around in a Ford LTD with a big LPG tank in its trunk. Dad explained using LP gas for fleets of vehicles would be the wave of the future. He frequently extolled the advantages of gas appliances over electric and was even a little disappointed, I think, when in fourth grade I participated in a general electric ready kilowatt cooking school. <laughs> we knew Dad was proud of what he did. This industry was very important to him. We believe his greatest contribution to the industry was his care for and ability to motivate people who worked with and for him. During one sales campaign, he asked me to paint a large poster with bubble letters, and it spelled out the word enthusiasm. He explained that enthusiasm was the most important quality to have as a salesperson. If he were here, he would ask me to roll out that poster and tell all of you that whatever your role is in this industry, whatever its significance, embrace this work with enthusiasm. Our family thanks you very much for this honor.